How do you create a Facebook page that will get massive growth, engagement, views, and followers? On this video, I am going to be teaching you how to create a Facebook page that will convert very well for you. Hello, welcome to my channel. Okay guys, before you create a Facebook page, you are going to need a Facebook account. If you don't have a Facebook account yet, you can navigate to Google Play Store or iOS Store and download Facebook app. Or you can go to your browser, search facebook.com and create your account with your personal details. So once you've created, a, you've created an account, next thing you are going to do is to log into your account. I am using phone for this tutorial because almost everyone uses phone to operate Facebook. So I didn't want to use my laptop on this tutorial. So the, the next step to take is to log into your Facebook account. So I'm logged in into my Facebook account. This is my Facebook account. This is my Facebook account. So come over to the top right corner here, these three doors that you can see here, click on it. Click on pages right here. Once you click on it, this menu will come and it will show you all your pages. Okay, so click on this create button that you can see at the top left corner here. Once you click it, this menu will appear. Click on get started. What do you want to name this page? Now, this is the first step of growing an active Facebook page. Before you input that name, before you create that page, you should sit down and think about what you want to use this page for. You don't just come up with a random name and create a page. If you know your target audience, the people you want to target, the people you want to be seeing your post, what is the name that will be appealing, the right name that will represent your brand to your audience? Okay, be it your personal name or a business name. You have to craft it in a way that it will be appealing. That's the first step that many people don't get right. They just go ahead and they name their page whatever they want. And at the end, their page doesn't represent what their business or their intention stands for, right? Once you have figured that out, go ahead and input your page name. So uh, I'm going to name this a uh, page, a very simple name. I'm going to use my name, Justice Chibike Updates, all right? So once I'm done with the name, Endeavor to make every word capital letter. That's always advisable. All the beginning of every word should be in capital letter. Right? So uh, I'll click on next. Now, they are asking you what category best describes the page you want to create. Now, the mistake I see people make, I see actors create a Facebook page with the category of doctors. They choose doctors as their categories instead of choosing actors. And sometimes I see actors choose musicians instead of choosing their category, which is actor. And this is where the game begins to get very tough for them. The game of growing a Facebook page begins to get very tough. You have to determine the category that best describes your page. This will send a signal to Facebook that this person is coming into our space we have a new content creator we have a new entrepreneur we have a new e-commerce company we have a public figure we have a musician you know you have to craft this out and select the best category that describes your page I myself, this page, I know what I want to use it for, is for updates, alright? So, uh, it's going to be a kind of news and entertainment. So, I'm going to click on this add category here, and uh, I'm going to type in news and search. 
right so uh you see the list there are many of them here journalists magazine marketing advertising media and news company right so uh i will just go for news personality because it's not a website and uh, it's not a brand i'm a personality is a personal page so news personality best describes what i want to do with this page mind you if you have a motive something that you want to do with this page you must not go with new a uh, news personality there are many categories that you can go you can if you want to be a public figure you want people to look up to you have a specified value that you are giving select that category okay so i'm going to go ahead and select news personality and i will click on next do you have a website for those who have a website don't always keep this you have to give facebook the signal that this page is affiliated to a website that if your company or you have a website that you want this page to represent all right but if you don't have you click on skip here but if you have click on this place and input your url then click on next uh, uh, i'll click on i'll click on skip because i don't have a website now uh many people they create pages without imputing their cover photo and their profile picture <laughs> that is wrong before you start creating your page endeavor to have your profile picture and your cover photo ready if you don't know how to come up with a good cover photo that will represent your business you can navigate to canva canva is a free tool that has many default samples that can enable you create that desired cover photo that you need for free all right so navigate to canva and select a template and create your Facebook cover photo and endeavor to include your image or your company logo in your cover photo. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and select my photo. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and select this photo. So I'm going to go ahead and select a cover photo. Let me choose a default cover photo from one of uh, the, the thumbnails that I did for my Astra course. So this is the page that we just created. Before you start making posts on this page, let me teach you the first things to do. Come over to these three dots over here. Click on edit. Here, you fill in your personal details. Don't ignore this section. Some just create pages and they don't complete the setup and boom, they are already posting. Listen, if you give Facebook all these details, it will send a signal to them that this person is legitimate. This person means business and they are going to put a tag on your page. All right. So uh, you go ahead and add your phone number. You add your email. You add a service area that's if you have a permanent area that you operate if you have your business has a permanent office or a particular area that you operate you add it then add your work experience if it is required you add it add your college add your high school you can skip this section but it is always advisable to fill in all this gap then you add your current city, your hometown, your work hours, if required. But I'll advise that you leave here blank because any mistake you make here, it will, it will affect your page. So it's always advisable to leave this work hours blank. Unless it's a business page that operates from a particular time to another time. But if that's not the case, leave here open leave it open then gender 
if it's a private page endeavor to impute your gender but if it's not you leave it blank All right so uh once this is done go ahead and uh, save okay so now your page is good to go on the next video i am going to be telling you the things that you will do before you make a post the first post on this page see you on the next video subscribe to my channel